Hi everybody, welcome to Fast Home Brew. Hopefully you've seen my uh, video on reusing yeast the easier way. Well, it turns out there's an even easier way. So everything's lined up nicely for me today on this bottling day. This is my um, this is my porter, I think, and that's uh, draining down into the bottling bucket. So I'm about to just tip the last bit out. There's the there's all the stuff we're interested in later, uh, but for now. Filling up some bottles. Well, Norm McDonald tells me jokes from my phone. Anyway, I'll finish that off. There it all goes. Okay, so now I've got a uh, lid and a Krausen collar. That's what this Cooper's design has this um, uh, collary thing that catches all the gunk and stuff, which is nice and convenient for what I'm about to do. So, old lot comes out. There it comes with all the muck on it, and the new one goes in. Isn't that handy? Yeah, look at all that. So, up to the shed we go with my uh, fermenter that's still got all the yeast and stuff at the bottom. And what are we going to do? Well, basically, I'm just going to tip the new beer, which is a stout, straight in. That's it. You just pour it straight on top of the yeast cake, and she's all done. Uh, quick disclaimer, this is the first time I've done this, and I know that it's probably over-pitching. So if you're going to do it, read up on it first. You shouldn't go from a high gravity beer to a low gravity beer. You should do it the other way. You should also try and keep the style kind of the same, I guess, because it's, yeah. But anyway, there we go. We're basically done. That was nice and easy. Are we done? We are done. There's the thumbs. Okay, cool. Well, thanks for watching the video. That was super duper easy. So, every, like I said, everything lined up nicely with me doing two similar beers in a row. So, yeah, there we go. Bottling day, pigeon day, all done. Thanks. Bye.